Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie, my Afrocentric Home Decor and Style channel. So today we're going to talk about decor and style and why I love Afrocentric Home Decor, specifically Afrocentric Home Decor, and why and how I know that my style is Afrocentric Home Decor, Afrocentric style. Um, yeah. Um, so because I think this idea of Afro boho which I used to definitely think that I was. I used to, it's funny, I always thought I was Afrocentric. Then Afro Boho, somehow I saw that term and thought, well, maybe having lots of baskets is Bohemian. But Bohemian, I know where it started off meaning, but it feels like it has grown to mean uh, ethnic people's stuff. That's what makes it Boho, that it's a borrowing from different cultures and different groups and yeah that that's what i really think boho more is so then in a sense it's kind of it's okay to i don't, don't want to say it's co-opted i don't want to say that i just want to say um that i realize i don't feel like for me mine is necessarily boho or i'm not going for the boho elements per se i'm really wanting to keep africa in the center so I want it to be made in Africa. I want it to be, in a sense, something that's more ancient. So my, my furniture, my clothing should reflect that for me as Afrocentric woman. Something that, and I think we're simple, it's not coming from China. I mean, the whole, the whole history of it, the whole idea of it, it's African and made by African hands when we see it carved in Africa. So that's more me. I want to mind to say, so it's like a lot of times we go into, I feel like this is part of boho style, is you go into my house, but mine used to be mine back in the day, and you see I'm, I'm Afrocentric, but yet I have Buddha statues. So now to me it becomes Afro boho, because the Buddha is not really, I mean, you can say Buddha was Afro, sure, but the cultural affiliation of Buddha is not necessarily African. Uh, and I want the cultural affiliation to be African. So I, I'm not as I'm not drawn to Buddha. It's like Buddha. I used to be. I mean, I mean, like totally. But I, I once I understood my style was Afrocentric, and not to say that you don't mix it up. You can do whatever you want. I'm realizing for me that I love the more Afrocentric style. Like I, kente. Even though it's a print and it's not real cloth, it has to be kente. You know what I'm saying? Like kente. Kente shoes, you know, like the whole nine yards, beads in the hair, braids, singing the Senegalese twist. I'm mean, even named after Africans who, you know, perfected it. Uh, of course, we're living in modern times, so we're going to have modern stuff. But I want to even make that as African as I possibly can. So I'm clear because it was this, it's this group, well, you may be in this great group. Uh, it's a group on Facebook. It's called afro bohemian group let's just say deck the core group poem the core group and then it was, it was very specific to keep saying that it was bohemian with touches of afro afrocentricity and she made over and over the point that it was not an afrocentric decorating group it wasn't a focus on african it's not about having african stuff and so that's what i knew because I, I asked the joint group i thought it was interesting but then I, when I was clear, I was like, you know what? I'm not really Bohemian and African mixed in. I am African. And the Bohemian might come in because some people see it that way. So when I, uh, like for me, having the different fabrics, so let's go get some so we can do this. Like, the different fabrics that I'm using for different rooms in the house with the curtains. So this is the bathroom curtains, right? Excuse me, this is the bathroom curtain. Match it all gathered together. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so this is the bathroom. But this fabric here is one of the other second bedrooms. So we have this. Then we have this. 
right? And then we have some other cup. We have um, okay. Hold on. Again, get this. Then this is the second other. Um, this is the kitchen curtains. So now we have these three. So anyway, and there's one more pattern. So when someone saw the pattern, it's like, oh, you know, different patterns around the house is very boho. And I thought it's interesting when I think of the dimensions of the different African fabric fabrics, for me, it's still African. We did it, the colors, the, the different colors used as once, it's still very African. So. I, but that group helped me. It's funny how, because I'm not criticizing the group. I she said, you know, if you're looking for more Afrocentricity for people, then, you know, it's not the group, join the group. And I think what got me was there was a picture of a woman, somebody gave her a child, grandchild, a picture of a white woman, and she wanted to know how to Afrocentric that picture. And I knew then that I was in the wrong group, because it was clearly just get an Afrocentric picture to me. And the importance of me, defining myself as an Afrocentric stylist or decorator or designer. It's, it's the core of who and what I am. And I, I, I wear it in my clothes, I wear it in my house. And this is a video about me getting clear about who I am. That's it. And I'm and basically I'm an artist. In general, I'm an artist. Let's see my style. Is this drama? Am I totally dramatic today? I wanted to be dramatic because these earrings are drama. Now these earrings are, I'll tell you who actually picked out these earrings and these earrings, I, I would never myself pick these earrings out. Like this is, I'm going to probably go for things that look even more Afrocentric, but my girl picked them out and I think they're fancy and I get, I love the fancy look, but without them, you have more of this look. Maybe with some shorter earrings. There's a lot we could do with this. I think when I went off the shoulder, I like to wear, I like to wear a long earrings. Because I think that works and you don't have to necessarily wear a necklace, but you can wear one out as well. So I don't know. I think the earrings are distracting me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is my style earrings. Tell me what you think. What do you think about the earrings? I don't really know if they're my style. Okay. And uh, I think, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see who's on. Love that the hairstyle. Thank you, Brianna. Thank you. So, yeah, yeah. So I'm waiting on Kwame to get my, my uh, stuff made with my, my rods. And then Kojo and everybody coming over. Kojo and I'm coming over to clean and cook. Uh, I got some stuff for them to do. I'm going to have a talk with Faustina today about the importance of not using any oils or fish even for flavor in my food. Today we're going to have to talk. I'm going to tell her how to cook for me. For me. I like everything more natural, not in a can. So if you want to make me sauces, make it out the tomatoes, don't add the paste. Like just natural stuff that, yeah, just, just, I got to, I got to eat my way. Or my stomach comes out to play. I can't have fish anything. No fish flavor, fish substitutes. All of that just makes my body, just goes into foreign, why are we doing this? Let's not. So anyway, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. Let's see the outfit of the day. The outfit of the day, you've seen the dress. See another way. And I don't have this dress, but I will have it on the site. I mean, I'm going to make sure it goes on the site. So it is my Kente dress. I love it because I love the ruffles here. It's a dress that anyone can wear. You see, it's quite long. I need to get it up. I need to get it um, altered. Just a tad bit to about right here. That's where I feel more comfortable. So it's very long. I know when I bought it, but I love it. So I'm going to have that done soon. And I also, this dress, when I can recreate this dress, it's going to have pockets. we got to have pockets, and that's it. So this is what I was thinking about. Do you see that I want to show you? So this is a great. Do you see the skirt? I call it so the extra layer of this dress, right? This is what I'm thinking about doing to another, another some of the other, I want a variety of curtains. I'm thinking about putting a skirt like this. I call it ruffles, but I meant more like this skirt 
on the bottom. So, it's the, so it goes from modern to, so we are my say boho. <laughs> uh, from modern to boho, but no, from that modern African look, which I'm loving right about now, so you might be able to see I kind of love that, um, to, to a little flare, a little like more flowiness. So I'm gonna have this on uh, some of the bottoms as just another alternative, just offering varieties of curtains for varieties of style. Because I do think that if you're into boho, if you're into Afro boho, then my, my website is gonna be for you. So y'all too, I'm putting in the work. I actually am, I know a lot of people go to Wix to build a site. I need somebody to do it for me. I don't want to build it. I don't, I don't have time. I don't, my mind's not that. It's not really organized in that way around that kind of stuff. Like I've learned in my career, my business, and my in myself what annoyed, what I should pay somebody else to do. So one of them is creating us a website. I want a website. It's going to be Blackberry Beauty uh, Afrocentric Home Decor and Style. It's going to be a boutique, an online boutique. And it is Blackberry Beauty. And I want it to be separate and you go there and that's what you do, you just shop. But these are things that are coming eventually in the boutique, and let me tell you, what's gonna be in the boutique now, uh, when I first opened in June, but it's not gonna be the first, it's probably by more like the 15th, is gonna be uh, dresses or clothing. But um, so far the clothing I have now are dresses. So we're gonna have dresses, jewelry, whether that's bangles, rings, the rings, not the rings, not yet, no. Bangles, necklaces, necklace and earring sets, uh, in that way, and and so and then of course my cups, my sheets, uh, sets, my curtain sets, uh, well my curtain sets, uh, all kinds of stuff. The things that are coming are placemats, like I said, the bedding, uh, some kitchen mats, uh, just things of Afrocentric nature. Napkin sets, tablecloth sets, are for century. Uh, some will be in it in June. Some will be, if I see how it's selling, I will definitely add more of the bedding, uh, the kitchen sets with the placemats and the, uh, I what do you call it, napkins. And yes, y'all. So basically, I could design and make the stuff that I use. You know, I like me Afrocentric. Tablecloth, you already know this. Oh, I'm doing the aprons as well. You already know I like Afrocentric aprons. I'm also doing placemats. You already know I like placemats and Afrocentric placemats. So I am doing it, y'all. I'm doing it, but I also like Afrocentric clothes. And I always say Afrocentric, just that you may have, it may be in a uh, Western more like style, but it's still Afrocentric because it has, this is Africa, Kente cloth. Or can take prints is African, right? It's Ashanti people's by name. Uh, 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 uh. So yeah. So anyway, I'm excited to get all this out. I'm excited to see again. So just so that you know, didn't know from yesterday, I'm not doing a. Uh, I'm not doing the two heads. This is my idea, um, but, but I'm not a carver. So uh, of the poles of the rods, I'm like two heads. Yeah, I was gonna do this. It's gonna be actually a straight finish. I don't know what kind of wood. I'll let you know. Beautiful wood. It's gonna have blackberry beauty on the wood. So something to remind me that I did this. And it's gonna have uh, these brackets, and the poles are going to fit into the wooden brackets. So you have your own brackets. So just like a pole. It has no ends yet. That's just one style. It's a simpler, but it's beautiful. Uh, and it's natural wood and all that's treated, so it's gonna be termite proof and all that. But I'm gonna start creating some that have uh and actually Kwame said he don't sculpt heads, which I'm a beautiful head, that'd be a beautiful, but let's face it, like I'm into the I'm into the deeper symbols. I mean when I be honest, the heads would be nice and I do it, but it's not screaming for me. I would rather have the indinkra symbols as, as just like the rods we buy and you take off the end and take off the other end and they always horrible plastics and stuff that's not biodegradable. Okay. I'm gonna have indinkra symbols that you, I don't even know how that's going. I got some ideas. It could be a knob and be carved in. 
it could be squares. I don't know. I'll, I'll see as what I want the wood to look like. And then let my boy just in think or symbol that bad boy up. Okay, on the two ends, okay? Who does their own rods? Rods. Why are rods so ugly? Because you think nobody's going to see them. But you do. You you can see the ends for sure, but you can see this. Look, my curtains are open. I'm looking at the rod, okay? Don't nobody want an ugly rod. Plus, we got to do better by the environment. We have to do better. So I feel like this is a great way to have something that will last forever, that's meaningful, that's handmade, that's custom, that has my little name on it, just so you can say, I got a black man to ride, you know? And you can take it with you where you go. You can work it out, custom made. That's what I'm going for. So, yeah. Are you excited as I am? Sheets, y'all. Wait till I get, next, that's next Saturday. The sheets that go with the curtains, where the curtain is, and the curtain at the window, right there. And then the sheets and the pillowcases, all that is going to match. It's going to be a matching set. So I'm so excited to match the curtains. And we're going to have sets. And it's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. Let me see. Kwame is showing me the wood. Okay, Blackberry. Let me see. It's by Beauty. Yes. That's pretty powerful. Wow, the way it's on there. Wow. Ooh, I ain't know it's gonna come like that. Yes. Oh, let me just tell them I love it. <laughs> I'm approving stuff. I'm approving stuff. Blackberry Beauty. So you spelled it right? Yes. Wow. Wow. When you see that Blackberry Beauty, it's something about it. That brings like the ancestors more in it. Wait till you see it. Oh, oh, these rods. Oh, they turn into something else. Oh, oh. Okay, y'all. Wait till it's got like a. It's like the ancestors, Black American ancestors came through. Like wait till you see it. It's very. Uh, okay. Anyway, it was deep. It was deep. It's gonna be very for a while. I like that got me. Our ancestors came through. They was like, no, let me show you. Let me tell you what we're going to do with these rods. Okay. Hey, hey, who else is on? Daisy. Hey, Daisy. How are you? You look gorgeous. What are you doing from, from African Liberation Day? Is, it, is today African Liberation Day, Salt the Earth? Happy afternoon. I didn't even know. Thank you. It's so many holidays because I know it's the Muslim have a holiday today. Is it African Liberation Day? Where is it just Africa in general? Or is it Africa in different countries? Or it's just, I want to know, like, who, what's the holiday? I'm curious, because I like to be informed on those kind of things. So is it the continent of African liberation or the country? Because now that I live in Ghana, I, I can see, you know, that there's East Africa, West, and then there's each person has their own independence, because different countries got the, uh, the independent, or this liberation, or liberated, that, yeah, tell me about this. I want to know. I'm so into like I'm into like I'm into that stuff. I want to know like what it is. So yes. So so yes. It's Daisy's gonna tell me. Okay. All right. So yeah 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 y'all. So this is it. This is what's up. Um, I'm going to let's see. I think I got an answer. It's Memorial Day in America. Oh yeah, that too. I forgot that. And it's Memorial Day. That's right, y'all. That's right. So happy stay at home day in the States. Although you've been home for a while, some of y'all, but other ones. Hope you enjoy and be with your family. So yeah, we got some holidays going on today. And it's the holiday of these of these uh wow, these rods, y'all, the curtains. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so I'm so stepped into my element and I'm excited. But so much I gotta do. So like I said, I'm gonna pay. I'm doing. I'm doing my a website through Vista Print, and we're gonna take off this. Talk about being together. Look at my nails. I'm, uh, there's a web. Uh, I'm gonna do Vista Print website. They base so basically you tell them and send them everything they need that you want, and they do it for you. And then they for one thirty days for free, and then you charge you. I think about the. I got the basic, which is thirty five a month. That includes the hosting, uh, the changing stuff that you might need change. You get a few revisions every month. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's great. I need that. I need that right now. Uh, 
So yeah, that sounds perfect. And also still learn how to change and put stuff on and on your site yourself. So I'm gonna let them do it, but I'm just approving stuff. You know, I'm at the age of my life, and even at the stage of my career where I know what I can do and can't do. I know what, if I, that's off my plate, nail polish remover, why is, why is it so hard to open? If that's off my plate, then I, I can do some other things that need to be done. And I really want this out. I, I know it's gonna be a success because it makes me so happy, you know? Okay, y'all got ways and means, and I appreciate all that is going on here right now. Okay, let's see how well this stuff works. Because I'm tired, oh, this is the stuff. The one I had before, nothing came off. Oh, yes, y'all, we tired of this. We all oh, this coming off in seconds. What is this stuff called? Is the last one and it smells not that bad either. Oh, I'm so impressed with this nail polish remover. Let's talk about it. This nail polish remover is oh well mm, no, don't have good stuff. We'll just talk about that. Well it has acetone. <laughs> Fragrance acetone and glycerin. That's not bad. Flammable though. Avoid fire, flame, or smoking during use. That's why the mother F works. Now that's why it works so well. Let's just get this off and move on. This stuff is like, yes, yes. I figure, I'm about to clear. She talks about a clear polish from her. I figure no polish is better than bad polish, okay? And now I can feel like I can get my nails done and start making excuses because all that crap is off. Yes. And yeah, that's that. So anything like nail polish, nail polish remover, all of that is at the markets, the outdoor markets. That's what I'm saying. Like, you really don't have to go into a supermarket too much unless you want specialty items. Even though I thought I wanted, like, coconut oil, which I got, they sell it. That's why this woman from the, uh, from the village that actually sells the coconut when she comes through. So like I said, I was saying the last thing, I try to get all my stuff from people that come in from the village and sell it because the stuff is just better quality, but at the same time, you can find beads, hair beads, combs, brushes, rubber bands, ain't even good at a beauty supply. You can find at the actual straight up at the markets. There's people, Makola, that's selling that same stuff. You can get everything at Makola. So that's another thing of like never really having to go inside. I can't remember, you know, I went to one place called Mal Malcolm, or Malcolm, and I, uh, I went in there, it's like a, place like a Walmart but maybe not as big and I, after a while I had to get out because I'm not used to being indoors unless I'm in my house in Africa. I mean even when you're out and you're eating you, you basically still got the breeze or you're almost outdoors you know just about so you're still kind of outdoor and I love that. I love that so so y'all imagine so I'm, I'm creating my own Afro Central Home Decor line. I'm going to be getting into designing my own clothes. Can you imagine once I get into the, the hospitality and yeah, so I'm excited, I'm excited. All right, I'm going to be gone. Um, I'm gonna be gone uh, and I'm gonna just wanna say thank you. I got every, all links in the description box. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, donate if you're feeling it. Let me see your comments and we are going to, yes, we're gonna move forward. Grand Rising Goddess to you, Shay the Artist. I love that. Yes, ma'am. Midasi. So glad it's coming the way you want it to look. Oh, Midasi, thank you. Good morning. You look pretty. Thank you, DW Consulting. Started in 1963 by the OAU, many African countries celebrate the hard for achievement of their freedom from European global. Yeah, and so, and it's so nice that they're celebrating it collectively, that there should be a day that the continent comes together to celebrate liberation. Hey, Midasi, Midasi, salt of the earth. That's so important. I love that. That's so, today feel like a day. It feel like a day where things are getting done. And we're going to make sure they get done. And I want some Kosek. Okay, now that I had a day and I got a craving, now I want some Nigerian food. I hope I can get some. All right, y'all. It looks like it's going to pour down rain because we are in rainy season. I, I, yeah, that's what they said. 
So I'm gonna find me something to eat in the house. Love you, ladies. Enjoy, and I will show you the curtains. We're still in the, we gotta see if the rods work. We have probably gotta take it back to the workshop. Like, I just want you to know, this is like work. So it's not like the, the rods will be done today. We gotta still cut these other rods. It's gonna take some time, but hopefully we'll have one rod ready enough to uh, put the curtains up and see how beautiful it looks. Talk to you later, ladies. Have a beautiful, blessed, and wonderful day. And I'll see you a little bit later when I'll show you the curtains. All right, darlings. Peace and, and the Kling House and the food she cooks. Peace and mercy.